Hi good people and a warm welcome. I know it's been long since I did the filmmaking one one sections with Rachel Wainaina. My name is Rachel Wainaina. I'm the founder of Youth Film Platform Africa. And before I go to the video, because today we are talking about the most wanted subject, how to pitch. And uh, I'm just going to go straight to pitching. But before that, I just wanted to remind you that uh, the Youth Film Platform Africa is accepting applications for the year 2023. Do you want to be a part of a class that learns filmmaking, digital content creation or acting? then you can feel free to apply for the Youth Film Platform Africa program on the website, on the links below. As we continue, please apply. We'll review your applications and we are looking forward to start our classes on April uh, 1st with the few selected people. It's a competitive process. We are going to be picking people from all over Africa. You can apply from any part of Sub-Saharan Africa uh, for this program. So with that said, I want to come back to the filmmaking 101 tip of the day. And today I'm going to be focusing on pitching. So what is pitching? Pitching is the process of selling your story so that you can get funding or you can get the necessary partnerships that you need to make your film. For me, pitching is one of the most important subjects every young aspiring you know, filmmaker should look into. For a film, it begins with an idea in your mind. It begins with an idea in your mind. Then when you write it down, for you to make it a reality, you need to pitch so that you can get funding, so that you can get a team, so that you can get equipment, and everything you need to make that film. So pitching then becomes a determining factor on whether you're going to get this funding or not. Or just to make it simple, pitching determines in simple terms whether you're going to make your film or whether your film is going to be another script in the shelf which cannot be done. Okay? So I'm going to take you very slowly. What is the first thing you need to know about pitching? There are different types of pitching that happen in the film industry in the TV industry and the creative industries in Africa and even globally. There are different types of pitching. And if you understand these different types of pitching, you realize that you're going to need them at one opportunity or another opportunity, depending on where you are in the film industry. So it's important to know these three different types of pitching. One, the first type of pitching that is very important is elevator pitching. This is the ability of you to be able to talk about your project and convince somebody to come on board within one minute and below. So you're doing elevator pitching. You're pitching fast. You understand how to speak about your project within one minute. You can go and look at so many people who do elevator pitching because personally, what I believe is, it's not good to give someone a formula of how to write an elevator pitch. However, for you to be able to write a great elevator pitch, I would advise you to go to YouTube, type the word elevator pitch, and watch so many people pitching their businesses in different formats, pitching their films in an elevator, and always make sure as a filmmaker that you have an elevator pitch. Now, why would you go to a networking event or go to a film festival if you don't have an elevator pitch? I don't get it. Why would you go? Because when you meet somebody, who has come to a film festival, they're an industry professional. What's the first thing they want? They want to know your name. They want to know what company you work for. They want to know what projects you've worked on and what projects you're working on. That's how you become valuable. Because then, once you speak an elevator pitch, it would then you know, attract people who would want to come on board and work with you. So these people then would tell you, I would like to listen to this idea further. So, elevator pitch is very important. Is it written? No. Mostly, you find yourself saying an elevator pitch. I'll give you an example. If you are in a lift, you meet with the MD of Universal Studios. On the lift, you say, hi, hi. And he says, ah, my name is uh, so and so. I'm the MD of Universal Studios. And then you say, um, also, my name is Rachel Wayne and I'm the uh, founder of Youth Film Platform Africa. Then you have like 30 seconds before the lift opens to tell that guy what you do. 
And he says, that sounds interesting. Let me give you my business card. I would like you to tell me more about what you're doing because it interests me. So you don't have time. So with the elevator pitch, you've got to get somebody's attention with that elevator pitch immediately when you start talking to them. The second thing, which is very important, that is the second type of pitch, is the story pitch. In film, film stories are based on the story. You need to really build up your story and the events in your story and the characters in your story and have what we call a story pitch. A story pitch, mostly in filming, a story would attract people first and then the business aspects of how you're going to sell it would make them give you money or not give you money. So first, you need to be able to pitch your story. You need to tell us the rationale behind your story. For instance, let's say you're making a movie about colorism. You need to tell us what is colorism, what inspired you, how did you, did you meet somebody who was discriminated because of their color. You need to tell us that. Then you need to tell us what movie you're creating, why you're creating that story, what is the genre. You need to tell us about your story in summary. That's what you call a logline. You need to give us a synopsis of your story, telling us how you expect to implement your story from the beginning, middle, and end. And then you need to give us the visual expression of your story, which is the treatment. And we need to see all these things in your story pitch. We need to see the events in your story, the setting, the place where the story is going to be shot. We need to see the characters, how you develop the characters, and all that. So that is the creative aspect of pitching. You need to, to have a story pitch. Now, a story pitch is in a PowerPoint pitch deck. So if you don't know how to make a pitch deck presentation, you can go to Canva and you can look at pitch deck presentations and then you can pick a format and just edit it and put your film pitch in there. Now, when you're making a story pitch, we need it to be more visual. If you're telling us about the place where you're going to shoot this, show us a photo, show us something. If you're talking about colorism, show us a picture of somebody who faced colorism. If you're talking about your, your you know, all these characters and everything and their character bible tell us about everything that you want to tell us in that so a story pitch helps you a lot the third type of pitch you need to know how to write is a business pitch remember even if i don't care whether you're pitching for a grant or you're pitching for an investor everybody's going to need you to have a business pitch a business pitch generally outlines five areas it gives your entire research and development. It gives your marketing projection. It gives your production capacity. That is the equipment and everything that will be needed. It gives your human resource, the people that will be needed in that. And then it gives, finally, it gives the financing, how you're raising the financing and how much you want and what you're giving in return. When people invest, they'll invest for two reasons. As I finish, the first reason is they will invest so that they can get some profit from your movie. So if you're able to show them numbers that work, distribution strategy that works, and you show them that you're working with personnel that sell, and all these things convince them they'll give you the money because they want profits. So they want what we call a return on investment. The second thing people would want is to give you a grant so that they want to make impact with your film. So if they want to make impact, let's say it's a climate change film, they would want to see the numbers. They want to see how many people you're going to reach with your film. If you tell them, I'm going to reach 100 million people or 1 billion people with my film, if you give me money to do it for free, I'll avail the movie and make sure to promote it so that a billion people watch this important message that will be beneficial for your campaign. So a business pitch is looking how do you fit into, how does that guy that you're asking to give you money for your film fit into your project? How are they benefiting? Are they benefiting in form of impact that you're going to make or are they benefiting because they're going to make a profit or they're going to share in the profit? It could be equity funding where somebody buys shares in the movies, they give you money and then you share the profit 20, 20, 20%. So it's very important to know that those three types of pitching. I'm going to come back again with another segment of pitching. I've just barely touched the surface. I'll take you through these different things that you need to do in pitching. But if you need more better master classes that focus on you and you're able to do a project and implement all this, please remember to check out www.youthfilmplatformafrica.com for detailed classes on filmmaking and all subjects of filmmaking. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
and I look forward to empower millions of people by just giving them short tutorials that teach them at least one or two things about filmmaking. This is the Filmmaking 101 segment. If you like it, please subscribe on my channel below. Rachel Wainaina is my name. Also, please subscribe to our filmmaking page, Youth Film Platform Africa. You might get to benefit from uh, some live sessions that we do stream there and get to participate in some of our live free master classes that we give to any filmmaker from across the world. Okay, click on the subscribe button, notification bell if you want to get my content and please remember to interact with me in the comment section below. With that said, I'll see you next time. Thank you.